All right, welcome to the first episode of the MCU, the Marius Cinematic Universe. And I'm Marius. This wasn't supposed to be the first episode, but that's just how it goes sometimes. I'd received something in the mail today that I've been waiting on for months, uh, and I just couldn't wait. And uh, I had to do this first, even though there's lots of other videos to come. So if you like this video, like what you think you might see here, I don't know, um, then make sure to subscribe, subscribe and hit the like button. All right. So today we're talking about Indiana Jones hats. I am a big Indiana Jones fan, as you can see with the poster, which is an original poster, by the way. This is a, an original theatrical poster for the Temple of Doom. I picked it up uh years ago uh at lucasfilm on their website and they were selling new unused theatrical posters from their warehouse that never went out to the distributors and there you go mint indiana jones poster very happy with that i've also got some other indiana jones things the golden idol which my uh, girlfriend gave me for my birthday which was nice and of course the Indiana Jones satchel with the correct or correct-ish leather straps. It's not the exact year and everything that, but it's the same model. And then hats. My first hat was this guy. This guy I picked up at Euro Disney or Disneyland Paris, it's called now, back in the 90s. Let's see, what does it say? 95. So quite a while you know as a kid it was pretty good it appears to have the correct color and everything for as far as I was concerned and uh, it, it looked pretty legit but obviously it's not a very accurate hat the next hat is the penman everyman hat and it's pretty good this one's got the turn on it and it's kind of like a hybrid of the different kind of movies so you chose, like, do you want, like, a Raiders or you want... So I picked some features that I wanted, and uh, this is the one. So this one i actually been wearing. I use it sometimes when I travel. Uh, and I'm not afraid to take it out and get it dirty. Well, I'll do another video on this, but John Penman had a hand in the adventure build who was commissioned by Lucas to uh, make the hats for Indiana Jones 4. So there's some history there and we can we can talk about it. we can do another video on that if you guys want but without further ado let's bring the hat that you actually came here to watch it's the herbert johnson the streets of cairo poet hat and this is a special edition limited edition 40th anniversary edition this is a lot of editions and it was it, it took me six or seven months for it to arrive uh some of the hold up was the boxes <laughs> The boxes they received to ship the hats out in had been damaged by water or something, so they had to order a new batch of boxes and, to, uh, and then ship it out. So that took like two months, I think. This is a pretty, this is a big, big box. It's expensive, but this seems to be like the hat, unless you, unless you want to go adventure built or some very custom thing. This, this seems to be the closest you can get, at least as far as I know, uh, to the correct Raiders Cairo hat. So it's the, the hat is called the Poet. That's the one originally used in uh, Raiders. Here we go. It's a pretty crazy box. Come on, I'm gonna show you. It's, it was worth the box. They were like, do you want us to send you the hat without the box and we can send you the box later? But no, I'm, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. Look at this. How fancy is this? Got the seal. Herbert Johnson Hatters, Piccadilly, London, 1889. I am excited. All right. Ooh, it's got a magnetic flap. Wow. Okay. Certificate of Authenticity. Nice. So this is a rabbit fur. It's a deep sable rabbit fur pelt, an exclusive champagne liner, and the initials IJ for Indiana Jones, uh, which the original hat in the movie has those uh, initials in it. Very nice. Here we go. And thank you for your purchase of the Streets of Cairo Poet, 40th anniversary. 
Ah, 10% discount. All right, look at this. Look at this. Ooh. It's the years, not the mileage. Keychain. And there's something else that fell down. Let's see. Bespoken item. So that's just the uh, instructions in case, uh, in case you want to do something with. Make sure you don't damage it. All right. Well, I, hopefully I got, got the correct size. I made it a smidge bigger than the uh, hat from uh, Everyman because it feels a little tight. I wasn't very good at measuring the first time around. Oh, wow. All right. I'm gonna bend this down because it was up. Okay, well, let's just try it. I don't know why I keep looking in this in the monitor, but I'm supposed I'm not supposed to look in the monitor. What do you think? Good. Yeah, good, yeah, no? All right, so we got the correct logo in here that the movie had had, maker's mark here or address. And then the Indiana Jones IJ initials. It's nice, it's very nice. This is a hat I'm not gonna be wearing much, I think. This is gonna go on display, we'll see. Let's well, compare to the two other ones I have. So this is the Everyman hat. This is the Herbert Johnson. I don't know if you can tell in camera, but they look, the Herbert Johnson looks a little darker, a little bit more brown. The uh, the Everyman, it's kind of, it's it's lighter in color and it's kind of like a, like a warmer, almost like a greenish yellow hue to it compared to the hat but overall they're pretty darn similar honestly oh, now i got them mixed up <laughs> which one is the okay this is the every man so can't really tell i got them mixed up for a second there so yeah So that is the Herbert Johnson, Indiana Jones, 40th anniversary Streets of Cairo Poet edition. So you can still order this online at Herbert Johnson if you if you want, if you want one. I don't know how long they're gonna be selling it, but seeing as it's a 40th anniversary, that they may or may not sell it for that long, but uh, it's, it's still available. So head over if you want a pretty darn accurate and with all the little details. So if you want to display it or anything, this is gonna be the the most accurate hat I think you can get, uh, unless you get like a vintage one, but you're still not gonna get the Indiana Jones insignia. And, um, and it comes with all the fun stuff, the, the, the keychain. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the keychain. It's there and it comes with the certificate authenticity, that whole thing, and the pretty darn cool box, so. If you like this video, make sure to uh, just watch watch it again and subscribe. So what this channel is gonna be is everything and anything movies, TV, entertainment. A lot of it's gonna be prop related maybe, uh, and we're gonna go through different prop replicas, toys, all that good stuff. There's a lot of stuff that can be had right now. There's, if you're a prop collector or like a movie fan, this is the best time to do any of that because there's so many things available like the Hasbro Black Series. We're gonna do a lot of videos on that. We're gonna also gonna be visiting movie sets. We're gonna be talking with people in the movie industry. We're gonna be talking with prop collectors, anything. So let us know, let me know in the comments below what you wanna see and then we'll see where we, where we end up. But this is the start and uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I was a, I was a little, <laughs> I was a little nervous to uh to do this uh honestly but uh yeah you let me know how i did and then uh pick up the hat if you if you want it so 
See you later.